Hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today's lesson is entitled, It's Still Called Stealing. The recent arrest of Kim.com, CEO of the website Mega Upload for copyright crimes reminds us that stealing is still stealing, even when it's described with innocuous terms like file sharing. The site was used uh, the newspaper reported, primarily for trading unauthorized content, including music, movies, and other copyrighted works, according to Joshua Friedlauter, Vice President of the Recording Industry of America. Now, Mecca Upload provided an online delivery system for pirated, read stolen, movies and music, and for a subscription fee, enabled viewers to access these under the guise of file sharing. The company even promised to pay $10,000 to anyone who could pirate a movie for them that would receive 5 million views on their website. Now, dot com and many of his top associates are presently in custody awaiting trial on racketeering, money laundering and other criminal charges. Mr. Dot com, original name Kim Schmitz, is celebrated by many on the internet as a digital Robin Hood. But this notoriety ignores the basic rule of morality contained in the seventh commandment from God that said, thou shalt not steal. That's Exodus chapter 20, verse 15. A simple rule, easy to understand and easy to apply. For example, taking something that does not belong to you is called stealing and is wrong. Uh, using something that you know is stolen is wrong. Uh, another example, enabling thieves by buying their stolen goods at discount is wrong. Now 3,000 years ago when God gave the commandment to Moses, a man who took another man's animal for his own use was guilty of stealing and was punished for it. Today, taking another's property, even if it's in the virtual world, is still called stealing and it continues to be wrong and thankfully for our social well-being merits the penalties prescribed by law. Well, that's all for today. My name is Mike Mazzalongo. This is the Bible Talk video blog. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.